We'll see. I gotta look at the ingredients. I still might make my concoction too. Okay, y'all, we got some long get back in. So this my snacks. I like this flavor better. I got me some chicken ends. Okay. And I started back up on this house with Jeroki because the throat be dry as a desert. So two masks, one ring, one chance, and one of hubbies. Okay, anything else? Oh my bag yeah. Water. And this is why I got some juice for so y'all. Y'all see? <laughs> so I got this color. This is a pretty color, y'all. It's called I'm good. I got some of my hands. And I bought me some of this. Okay, Shane. What kind of uh, Starbucks you got? Caramel frap. Okay. What you got? You got the purple rain. You got it. You really like this one, huh? That's your favorite, White Musk. That's it? Cashews. Oh, you got you some cashews. Rain don't want to do a haul today, y'all. So, this it. Huh? Thumbs up, baby. Jean. Yeah. A45, right? Hmm. Really? See that? You see that? Come on, man. Seriously. My pink is ready. Why? Why? You got A forty seven here. And on my phone, got now 45. Why do they do this, man? What's the purpose? This, uh, this is ridiculous, y'all. What, 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 what's the purpose of messing with time? What's the purpose? Nah. You know what? I'm not fit to go down the rabbit hole. I just woke up. And it's really almost 10 o'clock. But then it's like almost 9 o'clock. You know what? This this is this is full of discombobulation. 
Oh my god. Like why do they do that? That's so it's so stupid to me, man. Like go spring good uh, spring forward. Go back. <sighs> People, people, people. All right, I'm gonna make a video later on today, but I'm just, I just don't understand the purpose. They like saving time. Like, why you messing with something? Why you, why, what? What's the, what, what you try? What? What? Uh. And man, I'm gonna be all messed up for the whole day. Mm, mm, mm. Who decided to do this in the first place? And why? That's what I want to know. See you later, peeps. Rain just, rain just changed the time, y'all. I think that means it's time for me to get up. I'm not ready, though. I'm not ready. Mm. But if I don't get up now, it'll be almost 7 o'clock in a minute. Oh, can y'all see me? I'm here. I'm not ready. I'm not ready. But time waits on no one. <laughs> Alright y'all. I see y'all a little bit. I'll make a video today. Peace. I'm up. You getting up too. It's gonna be eleven o'clock after while, baby Shan. Get up. She done got back in bed. Hey, hubby. I'm recording today. Are you see some brushes back here? Don't you just gonna fix this something? Mm -hmm. I did. See, that's why I say you don't be having to feel guilty if you want an egg sound. You can just fix your egg sound. I got you on camera now. Okay. Behave yourself, man. Behave. Do I have to? Uh, yeah. Oh Lord! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, I saw they say we're supposed to get some snow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wear record since I'm uh. What's your plans for today? But you gotta go make some moves today. That's what I'm saying. So what you have to you know what they are. Oh, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. At least the computer updates by itself. That's weird how that happens. <laughs> let's go outside. I mean, let's look outside, y'all. Let's look outside. We're gonna start this process all over again with this snow. It's windy though. Yeah. I hit the. Oh, it's real windy. I had to mop my porch a little bit. I had squirrels trying to have a little squirrel party on my porch. Come out here. I'm seeing all kind of pee marks. All look, this corner. Whole bunch of pee. That corner. A whole bunch of pee. I'm like, ah, uh, it ain't even gonna be that type of party not around here. So I had to go out in the suite. Then I'm seeing like raccoons like walking past the bottom of the in front on um, look, just walking cross, like what? Nah. This ain't that um I don't even know. I ain't Dr. Doolittle. And this ain't that uh cartoon. I don't remember the name of the cartoon, y'all. But anyways, so I had to come out here and sweep. Y'all can kind of see why I kind of mopped a little bit over here in this corner. Yeah, and I mopped it up. 
and I swept the steps and I got this animal repellent stuff. I went and sprayed all around the perimeter and each step up there on the ledges, all up there, all up there. Like, nah, we not doing that there. That's what we not going to be doing. Like, I open this door one day, it's going to be a whole bunch of all kind of raccoons, possums, squirrels, dogs, cats. Uh-uh. So, so far, I don't see no pee spots. It was all, like, right up in there. Right all over there. And when I got the sweeping, it smelled like a zoo. Mm-hmm. I'm like between spider crickets, which we ain't have none this year, this winter. That's cause the hubby put that foam down there around that uh door. But it's trying to get me on the outside and the inside. So I was ready for him this time. So I ain't seen no more. I haven't seen no more. And if it's snow, it wash it away. I'm going to spray some more. Ah. So, yeah. This stuff. I thought I left the stuff up here that I use. The honey probably took it back downstairs. This will happen when you get up early and you ain't ready to. Okay, y'all, so I'm gathering my stuff together for my books. I'll probably do it on spring break since we'll be fasting too. I'll oh, see how my stuff's stamped. I don't know if I'm going to use these letters. I don't know. I bought me some ink pads. I got like different colors. I'm use that red. Then I got some clear stamps, different sizes. Then I ordered some of these off of Amazon, but they kind of they're too small. I was testing it out. I was gonna send them back, but I'm like, nah, I might find do something else and I can use them. So I ordered some bigger than these. But I like like them. They're pretty good. And then I ordered this. I want to put on top of my books a little sand. Do not worry. Go a little heart. The flower. All you do is just take this, peel it off, and stick it on here, and then stamp it to here, and then stamp it to the book. Oh, y'all, I got my paint. <coughs> That's the first thing I got was my paint. That's all you going up all the way. <laughs> I haven't got around to it. Since I got me a new massage, I'm going to put this one up. Here go my paints I bought off of Amazon to paint my books. And then I got this just to like, just if I need to spread anything or uh, whatever. I don't know. So they all matte. Matte acrylic paint. What color is that? Pewter gray. It's a lot. Hello. And I got some Mod Podge and stuff upstairs. I'm gonna bring that down too. I might really just use that for my candles I'm gonna do. I love matte. Matte. 
that. If I got some glossy Mod Podge, I might want to just do that. So I'm almost there, y'all. And I got ribbons just in case I want to put ribbons on it. I got ribbons over here. I got my ribbons right here just in case I want to add a little ribbon to it. I like this one. The lace. It's cute. I'm a black. So yeah, for other projects that I was doing, then I got these. If I just want to put some on, like just going across. See, I put the little B right there just to see how big it is on there. I'm like, nah, I need one. I need something bigger than that. I mean, that's what, just to see what's these big enough for that part. So yeah, so I just leave them out anyway. I got some old paint, but I don't even know if this still good, y'all. But when girls used to do a lot of painting. Are we ready? All right. So, Breakfast is served. Time to eat. So y'all just got an Amazon package. I think this Amazon. Is this for Amazon? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so I have ordered this for my book project. It's just some clear stamps and accessories. It say faith opens the door. God's love never fails. Oh, Jesus loves you, and so do I. Pray without ceasing. Rejoice and be glad. Rain upset. Oh, look at the little ones like this. I miss you, I miss you too, baby shark. I think me and dad are going to get us some more since today. How about that? You like these? You threw in the bathroom? And I got some little hearts to stick on my book. Y'all, I think I'm going to be doing the most for my little book. Look, I got some of these little clear stickers you pull off and put it on the clear stamp. These cute. See what they say? Give it to God. And go to sleep. Oh, I like that. I did my nails, y'all. I got nail strength in the, on my nails. And that's it. Because they so brittle. So, yeah. I just put some little stickers on them. Alright. Just wanted to show you that. Everything coming is coming. <laughs> Alright. Poise. Oh, y'all, I opened them up. Look at the goodness. Look at them, Shan. Look at all the goodness. Oh, y'all see that? Then look at them lips, okay? Oh, look at that bow. I love you. <laughs> Barney. Oh, look at these. Barney has a Shan, you look at all of them? Cut the big light on then. Oh, I like these, y'all. The light made a difference. You got the yellow one on? Mm. Oh. That one don't get clearer. Right. I don't like the yellow one. I like that one better, but. Do you all see your book? Well, it's a packet. I was just looking for some hearts. And so, you know me, I like variety. So, 
Okay, I like these too. I'm that person, y'all. I'm that, I'm hot. They get excited by stickers. Oh, it's an Ella. You like them? Which one your favorite? I'm waiting for you to clean, finish cleaning out the bathroom. I'm going to leave them out. Did I poke it up? Which one? Oh, you like those? The colorful yeah. ones. Wow. Yeah. You like them ring? Look. Cuss it. Yeah, I'll see. Anyways, what's this for? My books. The stick on the, uh, y'all see? Mm hmm. Which one your favorite, Reen? Which one you like the most? Reen, she ain't why you do this to my lamp. Oh my goodness, you be over here doing stuff. Which one? Oh yeah, I like that one too. Mess with my lamp again. We gonna be rolling up in that square. Me and you, me and you, me and you, me and you. Why y'all being so violent? You're so mean. I'm not <laughs> I'm gonna get you shit. I gotta throw away my garbage job. I'm gonna get her. Hey, peeps. How you doing today? You doing good? That's good. How I'm doing? I'm alright. Won't complain. I can't, won't. I can, but I won't. Because I'm here. I'm alive. I'm seeing. Ooh. I need to watch this. I don't seen better days. Watch this. Shan, come here. Smell this. Smell it. See, just smell it. Mm. <laughs> Why smell like that? I'll be, I'll be spraying this on it, then I'll put it in here. I'm going to wash it. Who washing? Everybody wash? Why you want me to smell that? Because I know how you feel about smells, like I do. And I had like a, a whole reaction. Mm. What the 10? 10 the worst. 10? <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheese booty, oh lord. Yeah, it smells. I don't know what that smell. I smelled it before, but I don't know on what. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Cleaning my my glasses. Probably why my glasses won't come back and get right. I be spraying it down and don't let it dry. I just put it back up in this plastic. My bad. I get you back right cloth. I'm gonna I'm gonna hand wash that thing today. So I finish making the video. So she ain't talk about she ain't have no socks right. But she said I like what I like. So we went out Friday. I bought her some socks. These are the ones she picked out. She picked out her some Disney socks. Why you didn't take my loose? I, I was for the video. Oh, these pretty. I like these. Well, got, like, glitter. Oh, cute. The other ones got glitter. I'll take my loose. On your face. I've been out, y'all. Went to a soul food restaurant. Me and the hubby got us some soul food. I can smell it from here. Yeah, I'm putting in uh, a little bowl of some water. Okay, D. That's area. I showed them the last one. I already showed this. And these. 
Yeah. What'd you say that for, babe? Oh. Ah. Uh, and you gotta get up. <laughs> Oh, these so pretty. I like these, Disney. Like oh, who this? That's Bale. That's Bale. Oh, y'all see the little gold? Oh, snap. Okay, Disney. Ah, oh, it ain't on this. Oh, these are so cute. How are these? And this is Tangled. Well, Rapunzel. Rapunzel. I like the Tangled. That's like one of my favorite cartoons. Tangled. And Lion King. I ain't see this. So that one. Who that? It's Mulan. Oh, the Mulan! Mm. I like the Mulan too. I like the Mulan. Y'all, now she has socks, and I showed y'all this one, Cinderella. She was like my favorite in the beginning. So that's all they were showing. Are you gonna get her to go? No, I'm picking up. She said she's gonna get a green one, and then I thought she was gonna get this one because she said it to the set. She said, No, she ain't getting these. So yeah, y'all, you doing good. Y'all already know the drill. He'll throw your stuff away. That's it, Ring. Ain't no more. She took the gold ones out. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so let's get our prayer on, y'all. Let's get our prayer on. Y'all ready to get this prayer up? Prayer on. Okay, here we go. I haven't amended my prayer yet, but I was really thinking about it last night. I'm going to have to write it out because, y'all, my memory ain't <laughs> the way my memory said, uh, look, I'm going to be reading the prayer off a card. <laughs> oh, here we go. Father, we come before you today. We pray for anybody and everybody that is not feeling good in their bodies, they mad they spirit and they soul. We pray that you come through, you touch them, heal them, and deliver them, and set us free from anything that's keeping us bound in our hearts and in our minds. Father, we also lifting up those that don't lost loved ones. And we praying that you comfort their hearts, you touch their hearts, and you speak to their hearts, strengthen their hearts in Jesus' name. And we also praying for those that's in the hospital, Heavenly Father. And we touch it and grin with them for complete healing and full recovery in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen and amen. I was going to try it, but I ain't ready. I was going to try to add a little more something, something to that prayer, but I ain't ready. I ain't ready. I'm going to get that up. Just be patient with me. Just be patient. So, again, I think I've been getting footage. I'm always recording a little something here, a little something there. But I had one out this morning. I went to the beauty supply store and I bought me some more nail polish. I love the colors, y'all. The colors are so pretty. So, I did that. And, yeah, and went to a soul food restaurant around in my neighborhood area. And I got me baked chicken, cabbage, and red beans and rice. Oh, it was real good. And it came with a corn muffin. And the hubby got baked chicken, macaroni cheese, and cabbage, and a corn muffin. He like he ate everything except the uh, cabbage because they cabbage, they put like green peppers and onions in it. He don't like all that extra stuff. He don't eat all of that. So he ate a little bit, but he was taking a onions and the bell peppers and putting it to the side, you know, but he, they give you a lot. I think it was like, then we had two sides, so that was $12.99, well, for three sides, it's $13.99. It was really good. I haven't had no soul food, out soul food, uh, in a, in a long time, because it used to, where I used to live at, we used to go to this other soul food place all the time but since i've been over here i haven't 
I think I went back to the one in my old neighborhood, but y'all, it's called Morrison's. That land be like extra, extra long. I don't even know if they open. Uh, so yeah. So other than that, let's get into the date. Y'all, oh, I recorded this morning. I ain't, I ain't gonna even go there. I ain't gonna even go there. But the 4.32 and the p.m. March 14th, Sunday. And let's see. Update. What the weather is. And the shy. Y'all wanna know? Y'all wanna know? Y'all wanna know? Y'all, my stuff don't be updating right. It don't. It just don't. Updated. 433. Okay, it's updated. Oh. Oh. Oh, it just changed. Because it was 40-some. Now, it's saying it's 39 degrees and it feels like 33. It's dropping. We dipping. It will be overcast at night. Special weather statement. In effect until Monday, 3 a.m. So, okay, let's see what's going on. Humidity is at 63. So, tomorrow's supposed to be high 35, low 34. Tuesday's supposed to be 44, high 44, low 33. Well, the lows is pretty good. Wednesday supposed to be high 48, low 39. That's not bad at all. I thought we were supposed to be getting some snow. Oh, they was talking about we getting some snow. That they all discombobulated just like that, like like the tan, fooling around with tan. What's the purpose of adding an hour and then taking an hour away? We still going to end up with daylight saving times anyway. Bars. <laughs> oh, got to be doing stuff. Okay. Okay. See, smart news just came through. Let's see. What? What's the... Okay. I don't know what that means. See what I'm talking about? Dude talking. At least 15 people were shot at a party Sunday. Ain't today Sunday? <laughs> at a party Sunday? Today's Sunday. What kind of party day was? Oh, it's St. Patrick's. Is it St. Patrick's Day today? No? Tomorrow? Wednesday? Tuesday? Okay. At least 15 people were shot. Oh, it's the 17th? Three more days? Why are they actually bringing people out on stretches, y'all? I want this. This is probably on the news. At least 15 people were shot at a party Sunday morning in Chicago's Greater Grand Crossing neighborhood. I don't know where that's said. Leaving at least two people dead, according to police. Assistant Deputy Chair Paramedic Greg Stennett said at least 15 people were shot inside a business in the 6700 block of South Chicago approximately at 4 40 a.m okay okay i see the party took place at a towing company auto repair shop bar both guns was recovered at the scene two victims was pronounced dead on arrival according to police Wow. 
Police said as of now, the ages of the victims ranges from 20 to 44 years old. Wow. Seven victims was transported by a Chicago Fire Department in condition ranged from serious to critical, with victims appearing to be both adult men and women. The incident marks the second time in less than a year that 15 people were shot in a single incident in Chicago following a shooting of 15 people last July outside a funeral home on 79th Street. Wow, 79th Street, it's a funeral home called uh, Leaks and Sons. That's where my brother funeral was at. Was my cousin still too? Six months later, my cousin was there. And that was like over uh, 18 years ago now, my brother been, you know, I don't like saying the word, but he, he, he got killed. 18 years ago. Southside. Shot in the head. And the chest. If I ain't mistaken. I don't know y'all. I know he was shot twice. I know it was the head. And that was 18 years ago. Let's see. And then six months later. My, my cousin. Got killed. Wow, see, this ain't right, man. Here they seeing one person got shot. The news be seeing different things. And especially when you got kids out here, you be like, man, I got like six grown kids. <laughs> Two not here in Chicago, thank God, but still, stuff happening everywhere, right? But when you got, and most of them girls, but still, stuff be happening to girls. Girls be getting killed too. But I pray and hope that my kids, you know, use the wisdom that God give them. Because, who's, you know, being out at 4 40 in the morning nah i don't even think my girls hang like that with people anyway they don't like people like that <laughs> they, they don't oh, but anyways let's move right along let's move right along so yeah like my, my girls look And they young too. Not that young. They get older, but they they, they, they ain't like that. Okay, so let's go and get our spiritual man fed on the day. See, I don't even want to talk about it because that'll be my whole video. We just need to send forth the word and put it out here in the atmosphere. Ugh, you know. And pray that my Heavenly Father have mercy. People need to start praying over their kids, y'all. I think that's what's happening. People don't pray. Like my grandma and them used to pray over us, her grandkids. I was in a hospital. Look, I remember I was in grammar school. And I was like sick or something. Some sat on me. I was like, I was done for that whole summer, right? My grandmama came over there with her, some of her little prayer warriors and laid hands on me. Do you hear me? Like, you gonna be ready for when school started back in September. And I was ready. And when my daughter, my second child, was in the hospital because she was born with malrotation, she had to have emergency, emergency surgery. And my grandmama and her prayer warriors came up for that. And that was back in 1990. And they was talking about, oh, it's 50 chance your daughter could die, 50 chance she could live. My daughter got up out of there, and she 30 today, 30 years old today. See, that's what I'm talking about. You need some prayer warriors. People ain't praying over their kids and their grandkids and their loved ones, y'all. They don't know what's happening. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You know, people ain't praying. 
or don't have the belief or the faith that prayer can still work. But anyway, I took my glasses off, y'all. I was getting ready to go somewhere. Lord, like, come on, let me get this read on in. We need our spiritual man for you, for real, for real. Because this be having me all messed up. I lost my daddy to the streets. My daddy died, like, I was born in 67. He died in 67. I didn't even get a chance to know him or see him. I'm thinking either he died a day before I was born or two days before I was born. But he passed. And it's just, death is just, it's just. So, yeah, that's why I take it to heart like I do, y'all. And it ain't nothing but, like, I'm the oldest and I had two small bro younger brothers under me. And four was younger than me. That's the one passed 18 years ago. And I got one nine years younger than me. Yeah, he's still alive. Thank God for that. But he had got shot in the head and all that type of stuff. It's just, man. And that was years and years ago when he got shot in the head. I don't know how old he was then. But I'm, I'm thinking he was still in his teens. I'm not sure. But now he in his 40s, so thank you, Jesus. You know, but my other brother, yeah. So it's just me and my brother now. So, y'all ready? All ready. Okay, I'm in chapter nine. Who made it to chapter nine? Me. Here we go, y'all. The Holy Spirit is your guide. Amen. But if you never acknowledge him as that, or you deny him that position in your life, you restrict his ability to guide you. And let's see, our young folks, and they said 44, we need guidance. We need some serious, I just say Medea type of guidance. <laughs> He would never barge in and break down a wall to force you to follow him. See, that's one thing about God. He ain't going to force you to do nothing. He ain't going to force you to do nothing. He is not a control freak. Amen. A control freak takes over whether you want him to or not. The Holy Spirit, on the other hand, only takes control when you invite him to, invite him to, and Trust him enough to allow him to be in control. Having the right perspective on our situations is extremely important to the success and the fulfillment of our lives. Without that, we can drift from one meaningless, meaning, meaningless, whoa, <laughs> endeavor to another or to one purposeless waste of time and energy after another all right stormy or we can go from one mistake after the other well and always coming back to the same problem mm. and the and same bad habits of thoughts feelings and actions okay when does it stop when does it stop when do we find the breakthrough we need and desire? It is when we begin to see the truth from God's perspective. And that takes God-given discernment. Mm. Mm. We need God's perspective on everything. And the only one who can give us that is the Holy Spirit of God. Whispering to our souls. Ooh, this was good, y'all. Man, that was good. Ooh, wasn't that good? One that, if that one good to you, it's okay, okay. You might be having a bad day, but it was good. It was, I take the goodness for you and look. Ooh, that was hidden. Let me, let me see my highlight, y'all. Let me see, let me, let me find, man. Man, this book getting good, getting down to the nitty gritty. I 
I got to read this paragraph. I have to. I just have to read this paragraph again. Having the right perspective on our situation is extremely important to the success and fulfillment of our lives. Without, without that, we can drift from one meaningless endeavor to another or to one purposeless waste of time and energy after another. Ooh. Or we can go from one mistake after the other. Mm. Always coming back to the same problem and same bad habits of thought, y'all. It's the mind. Feelings. It's the heart and action. Ooh. When does it stop? When does it stop? When do we find a break that we need and desire? When? It's when we begin to see the truth. The truth. From God's perspective. And that takes God giving discernment. <laughs> Got her done, y'all. That was, that was delicious. Man, that, that soul food that I got today from that restaurant was good. But this right here, mm, man, this is better than that soul food I ate. Soul food, food for the soul. But that fed my flesh. This really feed my spirit. But it's feeding my soul too. But if I had to compare this when this 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 was the best hands down <laughs> yeah oh, we need a word we need a word who don't everybody need a word it's about what, what, what type of word they getting well we need some good word we need some we need some spiritual food you know what i'm saying we need some a word that's gonna inspire uplift encourage motivate bring Hope, bring positive change. That's what type of word we need. And it's up to us to search it out and feed it to ourselves. On a daily. Because you got to wake up and deal with life on a daily. How, your, how, how you want your day to go. You know. What you feed yourself on a daily. Spiritual food. I got you though. I, I got you. I, I'm doing my part. <laughs> Got to do yours. <laughs> I'm doing my part. I did enough talking. I'm not going to do the other read because I done did enough talking and I got footage and everything. So y'all already know how my videos be set up, but it is what it is. <clears throat> so I hope y'all enjoyed that read. That was good. That was, that was like a meal with dessert okay so yeah so i hope y'all enjoyed this i hope you took some away from my inside my input just the whole mm -mm, you know the whole smorgasbord that i laid before you okay <laughs> and on that note y'all today is sunday this gonna be my tomorrow monday video so i hope everybody have a blessed monday a safe monday no matter where you at always always pray over your safety because it stuff could be you just don't know danger is everywhere it look carbon monoxide in your house pray pray just always the things that you find yourself being concerned about pray about it so have a blessed safe monday and a productive Monday. Get her done. And a protective Monday and Tuesday. And I see y'all back at the table on Wednesday. And on that note, I'm out. Peace, love, share some. And what? I'll Bye, y'all. See you later, alligator. <laughs>